So the new Lidl craft beer launch has dropped. So here we go, we've got Love Lane with a 6% a Baltic Porter. We've got 71 Brewing with a Mystic Origins Kivike IPA, 5%. This one I'm quite excited about. We've got Black Sheep with a Peanut Brittle Stout coming in at 6.9% ABV, nice can. Uh, we have got Lane with a can of their, I'm dropping it on the floor, with a can of their Fader Juicy IPA from Lane Brew, 5.1. Uh, Wild Beer, I've got their Pogo Fruit Pale in here. It's been around for a while, that one. Uh, Yeasty Boys, I've got a beer in it. It's their Gunamata Earl Grey IPA, coming in at 6.5. Uh, Loch Lomond are back with a sour. The raspberry sour coming in at 5% ABV. Um, the Cold Town Porn Star Martini that was in Sainsbury's recently, that's made its way into here. Uh, Donkey Stone are back with that dodgy New England IPA that they had in over Christmas. Uh, Adnams have made an appearance with their Blood Orange Session IPA. Um, Drygate are back with a double dirigible. Smoothie IPA coming in at 7.3. Uh, Williams Brothers with the Hercule Burge is a Belgian dipper, 7.4. Um, Freedom Brewery have released a four pack of a cold style lager. Uh, we've also got uh, Buckcomb with their Bohemia Craft Lager. Uh, from Steambox, it's their Funnel Blower Dark Vanilla Porter. Award-winning ale, apparently, 4.5%. Uh, we've also got Stuart. Stuart Brewing are back with a Chocker Clock Chocolate Stout, 4.5. And Thornbridge have made an appearance with their Bliss Point, which has been around for a while as well. So some pretty interesting beers in this range. Um, yeah, if you get down to your little shop on a Wednesday night before they close, you might get them. But no one's touched these yet. So um, I'm going to be doing a live stream Saturday. And we're going to be trying a few of these. So, uh, yeah, get down to Lidl. Cheers. Welcome back. Just got back from Lidl. I picked up a fair few of these beers. I wasn't expecting this Lidl launch to be anywhere near as good as it was. It was a quite a, a considerable beer launch. Um, I picked up 11 different beers. <laughs> wasn't expecting to. I didn't get all of them. A few of them I really didn't fancy. What I thought, I'd just do a quick run through what I've got. And I've got my receipt with the prices on it. So, um We'll start off, this was the one I was really interested in. So this is Black Sheep with their Peanut Brittle Stout, 6.9% uh, ABV. Uh, for the Peanut Butter Fiends, unflinching stout. Variety of complex flavours, expects notes of peanut, hazelnut, salted caramel, vanilla, chocolate and more. Sounds really good this one, I love that can. 6.9%, this was £1.79. £1.79 for the Black Sheep Peanut Butter Stout. Um, I picked up the Loch Lomond Raspberry Sour for Abbey. Um, that was also £1.79. £1.79. So the prices haven't changed. You'll be happy to know. Lidl haven't responded to the uh, the current climate. Prices are still relatively the same. I bought a packet of the Freedom Kolsch. Um, this was £4.49. £4.49 for a pack of four. That's not terrible. Four forty nine for four three thirty mil cans. Freedom do a half decent lager, so I'd imagine this culture won't be terrible. But we'll soon find out. Um, the Yeasty Boys Old Grey IPA. Um, I've not always been a fan of Yeasty Boys, um, but they are they have got a very good reputation. They brought kiwi hops to the masses. So uh, where is it? Where is it? Yeasty Boys Old Grey. This is one pound forty nine. So the three thirty is one pound forty nine. Um, I got the Williams Brothers Belgian Dipper. This seven is it seven point three seven point four percent Belgian Double IPA from Williams Brothers. Um, this one was one seventy nine as well. One seventy nine for a Belgian Double IPA. Um, I picked up the Juicy IPA from Lane. Their Fader. Um, this one was also 149, so 330 is 149, 440 is 179. The Lidl Lane Brewing, 
the Drygate Peach and Raspberry Smoothie IPA. Um, this is 7.3% as well. This one was... This one was 1.99. This one was 20p dearer. So 1.99 for the Peach and Raspberry Smoothie IPA. But it's got this... Um, yeah, strange that. The 71 Brewing Kivike IPA, Mystic Origins. Uh, this was 179. The Love Lane Baltic Porter, picked up one of those. Um, that was 179. And the last two I picked up, the Stuart Brewing Chocolate Stout, uh, 179. And then the last one I picked up was the Funnel Blower, the Vanilla Porter. And that one was, where is it? Where is it? They've forgotten to charge me for that one. Give white, chop this down. It hasn't seemed to have come up on my receipt. Oh no, there it is. Funnel blower ale. 149, 149, 500ml bottle. So yeah, the price is still the same, still reasonable. Um, the peach and raspberry smoothie IPA is the most expensive individual one. That's still two quid for a 7.3%. So an interesting range, an interesting range of beers. Um, like I say, I'm recording this Wednesday evening. Um, some of them are already on the shelves, uh, but these go on sale officially tomorrow. So Thursday morning which would be, what, the 27th, something like that. So you get yourself down to Lidl. I'm going to be doing a live stream Saturday afternoon, and we're going to be drinking a few of them uh, and try and come to a conclusion as to whether or not this latest Lidl launch is any good. So I hope to see you Saturday afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Get yourself down to Lidl. Take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.